Hey everyone, so it's uh, it's evening, I've been messing around with this. Now I ordered these actuators for the turbine and uh, I was expecting them to come um, completely just, I was expecting to have to make all sorts of adapters and everything, but really all I've had to do is uh, put a couple of grub screws in this part here, file it a little bit, file these down a little bit and, uh, and it fits. So that's one on so that slides on there like that it's a little tippy tap little tippy tap like that tap it tap tap and then grub screw goes on and I can center it with these grub screws so it needs to come that way a little bit that's it grub screw goes on so now that's got a, a flat on all four sides of that of that square and then I had to grind these down a little bit so that I was getting the proper fit in here but it's uh, it's working now so we get that lined up on there very very tight fit So these actuators were uh, a third of the price of any others I could find because I originally was going to do like linear actuators and um, the reason I was going to do it like that was because these were so expensive, these valve actuators uh, were so expensive um, and I got a number of comments saying you know look at look at valve actuators and I already had been looking at valve actuators but they were just so expensive that I just uh, dismissed them um, but the comments made me uh, made me rethink it go back to it and just search a bit harder and then I found these um, which aren't listed to fit these uh, these valves they actually fit these um, like PVC type ones but uh but yeah a little bit of adaption and they work so let's uh I'll show you how it works here look so these are fail safe actuators so what happens is when they get power 24 volts DC it'll open and then once it loses that power it will close again so here we go 24 volts it should open ready so that's open that valve is now open and that has water flowing through it and obviously it opens slowly which is exactly what we want so yeah that valve is now open and the controller you know, knows it's open and it holds the voltage but the current drops off um, now we say oh, okay we want that valve to close we turn the power off and it closes on its own and there you go that's now closed okay so I'm gonna do the other one and we'll show you on film how I did it so yeah this uh this piece that I'm building came with the valves and it's got two flats in it already which interacted with the with the valve that it's supposed to fit on but I'm just putting two grub screws either side of that because then it hits on all four corners of the uh, of the square that square so yeah and just uh just tap in them now So there we go, that's the two holes for the grub screws and uh, now I've just got to do a bit of uh, grinding of this part here because I need to make it so that the um, slot in the actuator there sits all the way down 
into that piece there that little stick out flat it needs to sit all the way down because this is the thick thickness that it is and it's not designed for these valves um, I have to take about a mil off of each bit of one of these and then it sits all the way down so we'll grind that and then it should uh, should go together right so here's our uh, our adapter, so there's two flats that came with it as standard and then two grub screws either side so between those four things it's, you know, it's got a bearing surface on all four of these flats focus and we don't want to be product placing that focus aha there we go so yeah we can just get this fit on here something like that maybe and then how will that sit end up sitting like that which is fine perfect let's get that tightened on hey everyone so uh in those last few clips you saw that was actually uh quite a number of months ago that that happened um and i lost some of the footage so as you can see both valve actuators are now um fitted and they're both working just remove the power of that and that should close um since during the time that I've been doing this and in between um, doing the other jobs and stuff I've been communicating with a um, very kind subscriber and programmer who's actually made us a control system for these um, so obviously this is my design how this functions but I it's not really my um, my area of expertise like programming and stuff like that so um, I, put, I don't know if you'll remember but I put a bit of a um, shout out on the comments to for suggestions and i got a number of people contact me and um and thank you very much to the person who made this you know who you are um i'm not sure you want to be mentioned but thank you um so this is an arduino based controller oh, come on there we go um so yeah arduino board um that activate actu actuates relays that turn things on and off essentially um, so the way this works is it's just the, yeah so the way this works is you have button on and off for each actuator so if I was to push that this actuator would open or close depending on how it's set up um, and then a light would be on say it's either open or closed and then if I wanted to close that I'd push it again and it would close or re remove the voltage from it so it's self closed and that's the button for the other one so we have valve actuator 1 valve actuator 2 and then <clears throat> these two buttons are the in and out of the um, of the spear valve uh, motor that um, moves the spear in and out uh, the way they work is just powers the motor in powers the motor out on the in there is um it powers it until it sees a certain amount of amps so it allows it to tighten up and on the out i think i'm going to need a um a limit switch yet but i need to talk to the guy that programmed this to to um to figure that out but yeah that's our controller so um the four core cable that i have going down to the turbine will come in here come out of here um so this can be mounted like in the shed somewhere so i can just um, mess with it. It also has a web based system so I can log into it on a phone and uh, these buttons are then represented on a web page where I can just press them on the web page and so on. So yeah very pleased uh, that's the, a new addition to this project. So yeah unfortunately because I lost that uh, footage I don't actually have much for the video other than that um, but I have been I have put some right angles uh, bends on these because I just can't get it in the uh, powerhouse without doing that um, so yeah I'm actually in a position I've been messing around today trying to get it all to fit in the in the turbine house so I'm actually in a position now where I can assemble this fully because the tur the, tur the, the turgo wheel hasn't uh, been fitted permanently but I'm actually ready to, to permanently fit that make sure everything's tight get all these fittings oriented in the, in the right way and also I need to uh, create my own fitting for this to get around a bit of a corner um, so I'm gonna take two of these that I've got um, I, I need a basically I need another 90 but, but I haven't got one I don't want to order one just for just for the sake of this so I'm gonna create one by welding two pieces together like that and that will get me around this corner that I need to get around so um, I'm gonna do that now I think but I'm actually gonna put can you see that one there? not really 
there we go that's better so yeah i need to uh i need to attach these to here i need to get around this corner but it's actually more than a 90 so i'm gonna make an adapter here like this that kind of goes like that and then we can do the plumbing so we might uh make this part and add this to this video so we've got a bit of content okay so the way the nozzles work we have the adjustable one spear valve the two actuated ones are the uh gonna have the two and a half liter sorry yes the two and a half liter and the 1.75 liters two actuated ones the small tiny one is the manual one i think that's gonna be best so we'll have the small one on the manual basically it's just gonna stay on all the time and then i'll have control over the other three so i'll be able to do 2.5 1.75 and the spear and basically anything in between because I could have like half a litre a second coming out of here and 2.5 out of here to make three or I can have 1.75 or whatever's coming out of here to make you know whatever or just leave this on there's a, there's a you know the combinations that I can have with this setup is is quite vast and I can always swap them around if it's uh, if it's not ideal so yeah we're gonna have the small one on the uh, manual so we don't because I could it on really low flow just have all these turned off and just have this one on or I you know so I could just have this one and this one or this one and this one so yeah very versatile so we will go with the uh, go with that right I got my nozzles in the right place now so we've got a small one manual 1.75 driven by an actuator 2.5 driven by an actuator so I'm ready to actually uh, install the turgo wheel so we don't want this coming off anytime so I'm gonna put some uh, Loctite on him just notice this one is just a touch too tight so I'm gonna pull it back a little bit you want them as close as possible slightly more efficient but we don't want them to uh, to hit that and move that back a bit so they all clear now I think if we lift that up yep they're all clearing okay so we can tighten that now figure out where i can get to it there we go this is good i can actually get into it with a ratchet from in one of the corners so we make sure that's all the way down so it's got loctite on it One. Right, so uh, I like to have this turbine after today in a position where I've just got to push the hose in it and it's all done. Um, so that's that one tightened up, got PTFE on it, should be good, shouldn't leak. Alright, let's get the next one done.
So this will be our fitting, so that piece in the middle helps give us a little bit more than 90. So we just got to get all them bits welded together. And then that will be our uh, bend to get into the adjustable valve. Right, let's get the welder started up. Right, got it uh, tacked up. The joins are actually quite tight and touching until I welded it. It's all moved, which is pretty typical if you've ever done welding. But it doesn't matter too much. I can bridge a little gap like that. I can assure you it won't be tidy though, because I am not a pro welder. Okay, so this is how I've had it. I have it planned to sit in the building. That's going to be about there. So this wants to be like that. That is going to work perfect. That is exactly what I wanted. Yeah, that's going to be good. Okay, with it welded up, I can take that out. Or no, I'll leave it in in case it, uh, in case it doesn't like the changing of uh, with the heat and everything. Right, let's move this out of the way, weld that up. Okay, so that turned out really nice. Um, I'm not the best welder, but I'm getting better. It's nice thick stuff, so it wasn't too bad. Um, I'm pretty sure that is actually gonna be watertight, but if there's a little hole anywhere, it's actually not a major big deal to take it off, but I think it's gonna be good. So let's put it on the turbine, get it with some uh, PTFE and everything, and uh, that'll be us for today, sorted. And there she is. What an absolute monster. So, got a variable speed spear valve nozzle. Uh, this had to be convolutedly curved like this so I can get to the, the pipe to it. It's the only way to fit it in the building, but it, you know, it's a nice bend actually anyway. Um, and all the others are fitted in place. This turbine is now ready to be fitted in. We've got our valve actuators. We've got our adjustable spear, which is motorized. Man, I've got a lot of hours into this, but that is, I'm proud of that. That is really quite something. 
I reckon you'd be hard pushed to find another self-built DIY turbine in the world that's that cool. So yeah, let's uh, mount it in the building and get it plumbed in and we might actually get this on fairly soon because I had a bit of rain. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I lost a bit of footage but it come good in the end. That is going to be, uh, next video is going to be uh, putting the bracket tree and stuff which mounts it into the building. Okay, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.